itchy feet is defined by Collins English Dictionary as a strong desire to leave a place and to travel. It's something that many individuals from multinational and third culture kid backgrounds experience on a regular basis, often to the extent of being unable to settle down for more than a few years at a time. Personally, I have lived in 10 different homes in the last five years alone and over 20 places in my lifetime. Usually I've branded it as nothing more than a TCK quirk and just accepted it as part of my identity. However, while it's true that I love to travel to new places, I also have a deep longing to settle down and build a permanent home. This desire always seems to be thwarted either by circumstances out with my control or by a personal sense of dissatisfaction with staying in one place. Itchy feet can be a positive thing, a sign of curiosity and a desire to embark on adventures and explore the big, beautiful world. However, it can sometimes feel negative when it turns into an agitated urge to get away from what feels like the mundane sameness of a settled life. Over the last five years, I have been on a journey of discovering how to be truly, deeply at home with myself, no matter where I am in the world. There are times when we can't or choose not to travel, but even if we make a logical decision to stay put in our minds, the memo doesn't always seem to reach our hearts. Here are some of the things that I do to ease the sense of dissatisfaction and agitation that often comes with itchy feet. Number one, get active. Exercise is an immediate mood booster and can be a really helpful way to alleviate feelings of restlessness. Going for a run, cycle or walk in a new park or neighbourhood can also trigger a sense of novelty which releases dopamine in the brain and lifts the mood. Number 2. Do something new. Along these same lines, doing something different, such as trying a new hobby or learning a new language, can also set off that good old dopamine kick that we normally get from travelling to a new destination. The brain might feed a novelty, but there's nothing to say that we can't find some of that novelty right where we are. There will nearly always be a new coffee shop person or even a nook in your house that you could get to know better. Number three, change your environment. If you feel stuck at home and your cabin fever is rising, it might help to change your environment in the little ways you can. Whenever I feel like I need to get away, I seek to transform my living space into a beautiful haven that I can't help wanting to spend time in. I start by creating a fresh, calm space by cleaning and tidying, then I switch around the furniture, put up some new artwork or change the bedding. I find that there's something incredibly soothing and satisfying about walking into a clean room. This isn't surprising considering that environmental psychology studies show that having a clean and clear space can decrease stress as well as increasing focus and productivity. I like to think of it as interior design therapy. Recently, I came to a realisation that though a shiny world travel lifestyle may look like freedom to others, it can never be freedom for me so long as I feel like I have no choice. I want to be able to choose to travel and move because my heart truly wants it, not only because my restlessness requires it. At the same time, I want to be able to choose to settle down because it sets my heart at ease, not out of trying to force myself into the unfamiliarity of a normal lifestyle. The truth is, for most of my life, a normal lifestyle is what has felt most foreign to me and a foreign lifestyle is where I have felt most at home. Number four, listen to yourself with compassion. Now that you have a peaceful environment, it's the perfect place to sit down with a cup of tea and listen to yourself with compassion. What I mean by this is taking some time to internally consider the potential reasons for the emergence of itchy feet. Perhaps you miss your friends and family across the globe and wish you could visit them. 
Maybe mingling with international communities is where you feel safe and understood and where you are right now just doesn't seem to get you. Possibly it's just habit. Whatever the reason, sometimes just listening to ourselves and being aware of why we are feeling the way we are, even if we can't fix it, is enough to get us through the difficult days. In the words of the great writer Maya Angelou, the ache for home lives in all of us, the safe place where we can go as we are and not be questioned. I believe that to listen to ourselves and cultivate self-compassion is the first step to giving ourselves an internal sense of home, a safe place where we can go as we are and not be questioned.